This uh, Elton John photo is uh, at the record company Phonogram in Hilversum in the Netherlands. And he's uh, doing an interview while signing contracts. That's the situation. Um, Johnny Mitchell photo is uh, an example of a kind of portrait I, I like myself because of the yeah, expression. <laughs> it's two photos of uh, Lou Reed. Um, this is during an interview where he is uh, not cooperating, <laughs> but I was pretty close anyway. And th this is uh, in, in Amsterdam in Carré, the theater. Um, he's doing uh, one of his big shows in 72 and in 74 he also was there. And it's a really interesting show. This is in my studio. I'm not so much a studio photographer, but this came out pretty well, especially also because she's a great model. She used to be a model before she started to be a musician, singer, songwriter. This is a press conference in Munich, 73. Um, they invited the press and <laughs> all came from the makeup. <laughs> And the photo of Mick Jagger in um, 77 in London is also uh, because of a record that was released. And there was an interview with the journalist, but I was not allowed to be there, which usually is, uh, I insist on being with the interview. But he, he posed for me maybe three or four minutes. And this is one of my most copied and stolen photos. <laughs> Um, yeah, this is the photo I took in Hamburg in uh, 1970, also with a new release. Actually, they started their own record company uh, so on the boat. And I was surrounded with uh, 30 German photographers. And the, the, the light was not very good, so I didn't take that many photos. And I couldn't go away because I was surrounded with all those people. And I handed over my camera. Uh, and he took a photo of all those photographers, 30. <laughs> well, yeah, one of my, well, actually, the best selling uh, photo I have is the portrait of uh, Keith Richards in Brussels, 76. Very um, um, nervous situation because he could uh, stop any moment. To, or the management comes in and say, uh, this will do. Go away. <laughs> this was in the time that uh, in his diary is uh, written that he was so, uh, his health condition was so bad and he was kind of paranoid uh, sleeping with his shotgun under his pillow. And his son was, uh, he was the only one who was allowed to wake him up at four o'clock to go to the sound check. Mm -hmm. This is uh, in London in 72, 71. Um, Yoko Ono published this, this uh, book and John Lennon was kind enough to join her to meet the press. After, this was in the Selfridges in Oxford Street, Oxford Street in London. And after this uh, uh, presentation, he went to a private uh, room at lunch and he did an interview. But <laughs> yeah, I remember it quite well. This is an example, again, of uh, uh, the type of work I, I, I like most myself. Uh, John Entwistle of The Who, the guitar bass player. He did both on one instrument. Um, yeah, it's kind of special. The John Coltrane photo I made in, in 1963. Uh, I was at that time not yet a photographer, as a, I was an amateur. And I'm uh, quite happy with the photo. Uh, and the funny thing is, John Coltrane is, uh, you know, a huge, iconic uh, uh, jazz uh, musician and saxophone player. And he, he is, after the concert, he is just kind of shy, looking like, what's happening? <laughs> but it was a great show. I mean, it's amazing. And I'm, Proud that the photo is here 
because it's, it has the quality of, uh, of, a prof of a professional photographer, and I wasn't a professional photographer. Uh, this is in 72 in Amsterdam, the Jackson, Jackson or Jackson 5. I found out that at this uh, date, Michael Jackson was 13 years old. <laughs> Usually when you uh, go to a show, you do one film or two films and uh, if, you know, because everything is moving, a lot of photos are, are shaken or not good enough, but for some reason I think I made, uh, and also color I made 100 photos and a lot of photos are, are much more than, than usually, so there must be, an, I remember actually there was an atmosphere, it was a great show as well and uh, I was so much concentrated that I could, and, and you know, it's, it's all moving, <laughs> he's dancing, everybody is moving and I made 50 good photos, that is quite uh, Special. Well, this is uh, some photos I took of uh, David Bowie. I met him six times and made photos five times uh, in London, that's here, and in Hilversum, a TV studio, Rotterdam, and this was a press reception in Amsterdam. Um, well, First time I met him was in London. I was not able to. Uh, well, I didn't dare to take photos because I was there for for another assignment, and I was afraid to be kicked out if I didn't take photos. Yeah, the one of my favorite artists is uh, Neil Young. Uh, not only his his first album, so everybody loves, but uh, also this is a. Pretty weird album, one of his best people say, and I agree. Um, in '74, I was in Copenhagen, and um, they had, after the concert, they had a party in the, in his suite in the hotel, and I was allowed to uh, to join with the journalist. I was allowed to be there, and uh, as it was a private uh, party, I was not supposed to take photos, but. After I think 20 minutes, I did take my camera and took this uh, photo, which is one of my favorites, especially because I like the artist. Um, but <laughs> and this is in '74 in Oakland, California, uh, with the Crosby, Stills, Nash and Young shows backstage, and he has a mirrored uh, sunglasses, and I'm <laughs> you see me in the photo and the journalist as well. Uh, and this is actually the only close-up portrait I have of Neil Young because I never was able to take photos during an interview. Um, Leonard Cohen in Amsterdam 72. Um, we walked from his hotel in the, on the canals to the Dam Square in Amsterdam. And they took all this time, I think half an hour we were together to do sessions and they did different things. And I uh, know well, this is... Uh, Quite typical with the uh, jeans.